What's goody everybody, Philip with Itachi here, you know what it is, bringing you guys the 2024 Hallows End Guide, kind of like a remake, it's, there's a couple of things added into 2024, um, there was things added in 2023, and I recreated our Hallows End Guide back in 2022, so we currently now have three versions of the guide up, uh, the full complete guide from 2022 that is still active and strong and good to go for today um but there was some dragon isles updates last year which is still a thing so we do have that video up and then this year they added a little bit more for the new expansion if there becomes a future to where a lot more content comes out for the for the hollow's end event i will go ahead and condense all of it into a brand new video um but for right now bear with me and stay with me because we're bringing you guys the 2024 updates in this video for Hallow's End. Alright, one of the things you're going to notice is Tricks or Treats of Castle Gar. Who would have thought? There's a total of 18 brand new locations in, new, in the new zones. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this done. Alright, the first one is, of course, going to be in the Innkeeper here in Dornagal, which you can see my character there on the screen. Let's go ahead and click on that, giving us a handful of treats. Open up the bag, giving us our currency. Let's go ahead and open up the rest. But again, if you guys want to check out all of the other content that is for the Hollow's End, I will be posting in the comment section um, the other videos and the other guides. So go ahead and check them out. Again, there was an update last year, and there was also the full complete guide as well that I've released two years ago that is still stands still today except for the minor updates that you're getting in this video and of course last year's but let's get into the rest of the tricky treats all right next one is Rambleshire here which you can see pinned on my map should be inside here because this is where the inn is exactly the mundo this guy doesn't really have hops bro look how tall look how freaking tall you are with no hops ah uh, shit I've been tricked. That means I can't mount up for a bit. Alright, next one. We are here down south at Free World Village. So let's go ahead and head on into the innkeeper here. These are the kind of annoying ones, I'm not going to lie, because you got to go way deep, way deep into these buildings. So, go ahead and pick this one up. And this is actually the last one here at the Isle of Dorn. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next zone. Exactly where you would think the uh, first one is going to be here in the Ringing Deeps is Gundergaz. It is going to be straight into the Innkeeper here. Let's go ahead and collect that one and I'll catch you guys at the next one. We're now here at Shadow Vein Point. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys where that is in just a second. Um, just here on your map. Bada boom. All right, next up, we are here down south. We are now at Camp Marak. Uh, let's go ahead and head on in. This is where you find that vending machine, by the way. So it's kind of a cool little innkeeper here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one. And I'll catch you guys, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there should be one more uh, candy basket here in the rain deeps. And now, last but not least, this is the fourth and final candy basket here in the Rain Deeps. We are down south uh, on your map at Opportunity Point. Now that we have moved on to Hollow Fall, first one for me that we're going to be doing is just here at Danelle's Kindness. Let's go ahead and head on over into the inn. Click on the candy bucket and loot it and boot it. Almost dead center on your map, we are here at Laurel's. Let's go ahead and get that one. There should be two more here as well, so catch you guys at the next one, which you can probably guess where we're headed. Like I said, you can probably guess where we're going. We're here at Merildar. Uh, let's head on into the inn. Yes, and there is also just going to be one more left on the way to Ajkahet, which is very, very nice because that is the last and final zone that we're going to have after this. You don't come here to lights too often, but right, right, lights uh, redoubt. So let's go ahead and uh, collect this one. It's nice that we don't really have to go into a building. Just get the mount up and get out right away. All right, we have another four here in Ajkahet. There's actually more than four, but we're up north here at uh, Farron's Advance. Let's go ahead and collect the first one. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a update on what I mean by more than four. But for now, 
four in Ashka Hat. Catch you at the next one. Major City Weavers freaking lair. Dead center on your map. The main city that you basically do everything at. Rock Bottom Inn, huh? Is that what this is called? I did not know that. It makes total sense now, too. This is Rock Bottom of freaking NPCs. I'll give you that much. Last but not least, we are here at Wild Camp on the left-hand side, just basically down from the City of Threads. Um, I did say there was a total of four here in Ajkahet, but there is also three more buckets that you'll find in the City of Threads itself, so let's go ahead and get to the first one. First one in the City of Threads, the major city or the major building that you see up here up north. Let's go ahead and head on in. The Skittering Lounge it is. Next one's not even inside the inn. It's just here on the rightish side of City of Threads. So, got one more left and we are done. Last but not least, we are here down below. We are in the burrows. It's the major basically building that's down here. You did a lot of uh, the raid quests down here as well. So this is the final uh, candy basket giving us the actual achievement for um, basically all of the brand new zones. So there we go. Kazalgar candy baskets completed. Next up we're going to be going over a uh, brand new loot that has been added to the loot filled pumpkin for the Headless Horseman. Um, that is basically, um, the Headless Horseman first of all is the holiday boss for those of you that don't know. Um, this holiday boss does have a dungeon tab that can give you the loot filled pumpkin which is where you're going to be able to get the, uh, the collectibles from this dungeon boss. Um, this dungeon boss now drops patched harvest golems transmog set. This transmog set is very identical to the one that I am currently wearing from the trading post. However, it has more of a lighter toned, brown toned to it. Uh, you guys can see the picture on the screen as well if you're interested in collecting this transmog set. Um, the only thing that the um, that is not dropped from the Headless Horseman is the back piece, which is from a vendor, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, and a random one of these pieces will drop every single time you kill the Headless Horseman until you have all of them. So, it's not like you're gonna have a chance to get them. You are going to get the full set, as long as you just continuously kill the Headless Horseman on a daily basis. Um, and also, last but not least, you can have a very, very super extremely small percentage of getting these items from candy buckets as well. But basically, if you should have enough time to be able to clear the Headless Horseman in order to get this full set. I don't think there's phases anymore in this box. This boss fight. I think he just has all the phases at once. Because he just summoned the, the pumpkins. Yeah. Alright, upon completion of the Headless Horseman. Yes, it is true. Got the legs for the patched harvest golem. Let's go ahead and get those learned. But again... It is going to be a full set here, as you guys can see, with the, um, whatchamacallit, the shoulders coming from a, uh, the back piece, sorry, coming from a vendor. But everything else does say trading post, but it's not really the trading post. It is the Headless Horseman, and a very small chance at, uh, getting this from the, um, the candy buckets. At least the new items on the vendors, the collectibles. I did state earlier that there was a back piece for the patched harvest golem and you'll be able to see that here as the patched harvest golems post which is the back piece that you guys can see here and the one that I showed you earlier that goes with the patched set. Uh, you'll also be able to purchase the patched harvester's claw. So this is a fist weapon that you can utilize for those of you that can utilize fist weapons and you can have the um, the harvest go uh, the harvest go on this car, which is kind of cool. Um, there's also two other and uh, there's an ensemble and a shoulder cape that has been added as well, which is these two green items. These are the four brand new items in 2024. This one being the ensemble Prowler's Faded Headgear. Um, let's go ahead and check that one out. As you guys can see there, there is the helm. 
And then, of course, you'll be able to see that there's a Prowler's Faded Shoulder Cape, which you can see there, which is very similar to the shoulder capes that you see on the trading post. Kind of dead pieces, I'm not going to lie, but nonetheless, they can be utilized for some cool transmogs if you do be able to put the pieces together, because I have actually seen some cool transmogs utilizing those pieces. But overall, those are the final four pieces, and those are the final things that I needed to go ahead and show you guys for the Hollow's End this year. So thank you all very much for dropping by. Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you got any questions, let me know. Check out the other videos for the Hollow's End, and I'll catch you guys next time.